Right, well, Tony Shepard, thanks for being here at the Lowy Institute today for the my, launch of the poll. My pleasure, Sam. Yeah. And I want to start, you're, you're our representative from Australian business here today. So what's, what's in this poll for uh, Australian business, particularly Australian exporters, I guess? Well, look, I, I think there's some good stuff in there. I, I mean, the, the uh, desire to be able to maintain a relationship with China and the US simultaneously is, I think, a more sophisticated approach from the Australian community. We'd have a concern with the uh, sort of uh, negative response to Chinese investment in Australia, which doesn't see it, match the scale of that investment and really, it, it, we would say, is an ill-informed view on the, of what that means to Australia. So what is the truth? Just let me break in there. What they is the actual... 2.5% of our capital stocks, so they're a very small investor mm. compared to the other countries like the United States and and Japan and what have you that have invested over many years. And so I'd say that is a concern because we do rely on foreign capital to not only grow but to survive in many respects. My sense is that uh, Australian business elites are becoming more Asia literate and more Asia uh, interested in, in, in the last few years. Uh, maybe I'm behind the times there. Maybe that's been the case for, for much longer than I appreciate. Do you think... Uh, Australian business is ahead of the Australian public in that regard? What does the yeah, poll probably, tell you about that? Yeah, yeah I think so. I, look, uh, Australian business has really taken a, a much stronger interest in Asia from, I guess, from Bob Hawke's Prime yes. Ministership onwards. Uh, if I take my own company, Transfield Services, we've been very active uh, in, in the old company before we were listed in Asia, we started in Indonesia a good 20 years ago, mm. 30 years ago almost. So we were working in Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines and Thailand uh, 20 or 30 years ago. So I think Australian businesses have been, been engaging quite deeply with Asia for a long time. China has opened its, you know, its economy up for mm. foreign investment and foreign participation. That's certainly brought us closer there. Our trade links with Japan have been strong for a long time. I mean, I've been dealing with Japanese companies on major projects, you know, for the last oh, 30 years, I guess. You know, the Japanese companies built all the uh, Araring and Basewater power stations, for example. And let me ask you about the Indonesia result, because you mentioned Indonesia just now. Australians stubbornly refuse to believe that Indonesia is a democracy, it seems. Yeah, I think that's a bad thing. I think mm. that's disappointing. That shows that... Um, our education system and perhaps even our news system isn't really highlighting uh, the truth about our near neighbours. And Indonesia is a very, very important near neighbour. Yeah. And a, a big country with rich with resources and I think with a great future. And it's a pity that, you know, the average Australian doesn't know a lot more about what it's all about. I mean, it's more than Bali. It's it's more than you know the odd, the odd terrible flood and, and tidal wave. It's got a lot more going for it than that, and it's mm. a pity we don't know a lot more. In some in some respects, I think we've gone backwards on Indonesia. I think our knowledge and appreciation of Indonesia 30 years ago is probably stronger than it is now. Well, I think you're right, actually, on, on the question of language training as yes. well, that we've gone backwards. But what, the, the slightly paradoxical thing, though, in the poll is that we asked Australians... Uh, how important they thought the economic relationship was with Indonesia. And it seems to me the, res the return on that poll is actually far ahead of the actual truth. Yeah. That Australians think that the, the economic relationship is really important, when in actual fact it, it kind it's, of isn't. It's, it's underdone, mm. yes. And that, again, that's an educative process, I think, to explain to people. I mean... I mean, all they know about trade is the beef trade, the life capital yeah. trade and that sort of really negative stuff, which is, I think has been overblown, of course, dramatically and not re and a bit of tourism. They don't... They, but, you know, they, they, they seem to have a view of Indonesia which just doesn't match the facts. Mm. Tony, thanks for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.